start right now. Let me share my uh, screen. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me today uh, about today's uh, webinar about uh, creating and publishing children's picture book with Yuhu Press. Um, I want to introduce myself first. Uh, I'm Helen Wu. I'm the associate publisher of Yuhu Press and uh, uh, I'm also a children's book author, illustrator, and I have uh, authored, co-authored and illustrated about uh, 20 picture books. I started as a self-taught illustrator uh, in 2011, and I uh, illustrated with other authors about um, 10 picture books, and then I started to write my own story. I wrote, illustrated, and self-published around uh, 10 picture books, and then I switched to the traditional publishing route. I started to take courses, uh, join SDBWI, and um, also uh, join uh, several critic groups, and went to uh, regional meetings and conferences, and uh, um, and it, I, my writing skill has improved a lot and I signed with an agent and went on submission for several rounds and got feedback from uh, editors from large horses, horses like uh, uh, large houses like um, Penguin, um, Little Brown. And the last uh, summer, I went to the SCBWI uh, Los Angeles conference. I met the editors and uh, publishers from uh, the publisher from Yahoo Press, and they have been looking for someone like me uh, who could speak uh, Mandarin and also um, and also have experience in the U.S. Uh, publishing industry. So we feel we are the perfect match. And uh, then I joined the team in uh, November. So uh, I was in charge of the US business of Yahoo Press. Um, uh, let me, wait a second, let me, um, let me open the chat box. So I will know if you have any questions, um, you can, yeah, you can, you can type in the chat box if you have any questions uh, along the way. Yeah, so um, can you see the image right now? Okay, perfect. Um, uh, so uh, Yahoo Press is an independent publisher headquartered in Los Angeles, California, and it's part of um, Shanghai Yahoo Industry uh, Corporation, and which was founded in uh, two, uh, 2007, and uh, it published over 200 titles per year. Its uh, publishing partner is Phoenix English, uh, Phoenix Publishing and Media Group. It's one of the largest state-owned publishing houses in China. Uh, so they publish textbooks, and um, uh, they, they publish textbooks, the children's books, social uh, science, arts. Uh, so they really have a wide range of um, uh, they have a wide range of uh, genres they or, or they publish. And for Ihu books uh, are currently being published and sold in English and simplified Chinese editions. And uh, the English versions will be published here in the U.S. And uh, the uh, Chinese version will be published in China and will handled by our editors and uh, teams in China. So currently, um, we are for, focused on uh, children's books and uh, Phoenix English magazines. We have uh, 14 children's books we are working on. Uh, and uh, currently are all in simplified Chinese. So the original versions are in, China, uh, are in English. We translate into Chinese. And we haven't acquired any English books yet. And that's what we are working on. We're probably gonna acquire our first book very soon this month. And uh, um, we plan to acquire around uh, 20, 30 books uh, this year. And also we have uh, uh, Phoenix English magazines. That's for uh, English learners in China. Um, and uh, we both, uh, our children's books and English magazine are open to submissions. You can check our uh, submission guidelines on our website. Uh, we pay authors for children's book, the advance against the royalties, and we pay a flat fees for the magazine. Um, um, so yeah, since uh, this webinar is about uh, our picture book publishing route, so I want to introduce a little bit about the picture book basics that apply to our acquisition process. 
So um, for uh, picture books, usually it's uh, 32 page or 40 page. Since I've heard uh, multiple times in other courses that they encourage uh, beginning writers or um, uh, you know, uh, pre-published authors or writers to focus, uh, to stick to the 32 page, uh, since that's kind of like the most uh, typical format. But for us, it really doesn't matter. I, I've seen a lot of authors, they want to cut down words, simply they want to uh, fit uh, the 32 page. And uh, actually um, that it's kind of like a loss of some of the good content. Um, I think one reason that people want to stick to 32 page is the, uh, the cost of the book, but uh, for a hardcover picture book, the most expensive part is the, the, hard, the cover. So even like for a 40 page book, it's like 25% page more, but the cost only increase a little bit. It's so slight that won't affect that much. So if your book works perfect in a 40 page format, don't worry about that, it's perfectly fine. Um, and that being said, the word count does matter. And for picture book that every word counts so, uh, you know, current days that um, parents are so busy and after a long day of work, they want to, uh, they, they need to read several books to tuck children into bed. And uh, if a book is a thousand words or two thousand words, it's uh, just uh, going to make them more wary. And they, if they don't want to read your book, um, they, they, they don't want to, you know, show the book to their children. You, you kind of like, as an author, you definitely don't want that to happen and uh, you lose some chance. Um, we don't know we are not to request that uh, it has to be for 500 words or less it also depends on what the book is about and what's the readership and the the, the uh, age group for like um, uh, for two to five years old age group you might want to keep it like uh, around 500 words since um, it, they kind of like rely on parents to read to them if it's too long it might be um, just the uh, you know it, the the target audience might um, it's just not that attractive to the target audience. But if the age group is like older, like five to eight or like five um, or six to nine, so it's okay to be longer. It also depends on if it, if it's a nonfiction or um, it's uh, what kind of content it's about. Um, for for older age, they can, they can read independently. It's okay, you know. You have a longer uh, book, but uh, just to be aware that the topic, the age group, and the readership need to match each other. For example, I've seen stories about um, a, a healthy, balanced meal, uh, and the target uh, group is like uh, five years old. But uh, for that years, uh, for that age group, they might already outgrow on that base that they care about, uh, you know, uh, healthy balanced meal or need, you need to brush teeth before bed. So that's probably you need to aim for uh, two or three years old. And another thing, uh, another example, like uh, climate change, I've seen stories about climate change, but aiming for like uh, three years old. But for that year, uh, that age group, they might uh, care the things around them most. And for climate change or those global issues, they might be a little bit relevant to them. So be sure to think about the topic, the age group and the readership match with each other. Um, uh, and also it seems uh, though children are our um, target audience, but we need to pass the adult gatekeepers first. That's parents, grandparents, teachers, librarians. Um, though we are not right for them, since they are the one that uh, purchased the book and they need to make a judgment if they, it's the book they want to show the children. And we can't market our books to children, it's uh, illegal and it's not, pro, uh, it, it's, uh, uh, it's not allowed. So uh, you do need to you know, keep in mind what uh, parents, grandparents, teachers, librarians they are looking for. And uh, um, it's just, just something you, you, need, you want to take into consideration when you write a book. And about cultural differences, um, yeah, uh, we uh, since we publish the English version here and the Chinese version in China, we will consider the difference between two markets. Um, I'll give you an example of um, a book that I've been working on. It's about the dragon story. So, um, so I pulled out all the books about dragons out already in the market. And uh, uh, surprisingly, I found some uh, books that the dragon is kind of like, a, I feel personally, I feel it's too scary. And I thought it's only me, but when I showed 
it to some of my Chinese friends and they feel the dragon scary too and they want to read this book to their children and even uh, all those books actually are all published by um, a large publishers so there is nothing wrong with the artists or it's uh, they are all professionally done and uh, by professional artists is simply because the cultural difference the the um, audience preference are uh, quite different in this two markets. So we definitely will take um, the cultural difference into consideration to do in-depth uh, market research uh, of uh, the audience in these two markets. Um, so sometimes, uh, so um, uh, there were some questions. We, we will go back to the question later um, after, the, uh, after the webinar. So uh, I can focus on my, uh, on my uh, uh, the, the content. But uh, um, yeah, when you have uh, the uh, question, feel free to type in the chat box and I will go back to it later. So yeah, when you have um, the idea and want to develop a draft or maybe even after you uh, develop a first draft, so make sure that um, you spend some time to do market research, though that uh, should be done kind of like by publishers or um, agent, but it's really a great way to avoid being a copycat or after you have spent so much time and effort and uh, you believe your idea is so original and uh, so unique, but you find uh, there is already books out in the market so similar to your idea and uh, they are done better than yours. So uh, that's definitely a disheartening thing and you want to avoid. So you can avoid that by to you know, spend time on market research to learn what's already in the market and uh, you you can find mentor text uh, about like a uh, similar uh, themes with your story like uh, is it about friendship or parents on conditional love uh, or about nature or about bravery or um, you know this uh, you find books about uh, with similar themes with your story and uh, you can also find uh, books with similar plots is it about uh, you know one family or the kids uh, move from one place to another place or from one country to another country or maybe about uh, being lonely and making an unexpected friend or about first day to school and also think about the setting is it um, is it the story uh, occurs in forest or under sea or um, in city or suburb or school or just a neighborhood so think about the setting and uh, find stories have similar setting with yours and also uh, find books with similar uh, characters. Um, sim sometimes uh, books with a similar theme or similar plot, if you change the character, it could turn into a completely different story. Is there are human beings, star uh, human beings like uh, human kids, are they, uh, what's the relationship with them? Like, are they um, friends, like neighborhood friends or friends in school? Or are they uh, siblings, like sisters, brothers, or um, si uh, two sisters, or like um, uh, twins? Like, um, or um, what's, you know, what's the relationship between the, or maybe a kid and the animal? And uh, if they're the characters that animal, what, are they a bunny or a bear or undersea, like uh, some kind of fish or shark? Or penguin. So, think about the main character in the um, you, when you look all the books out in the market, and uh, uh, you find some books that similar to your idea, but you switch and uh, um, change these elements, you can really turn your book into a truly unique one. And uh, for com titles. Um, uh, I for uh, a lot of people have been asked like what's the difference between mentor text and the com titles. Well, com titles are comparable titles, and in our submission guideline, uh, uh, we also mentioned to uh, uh, to submit three com titles. Uh, for com titles, I think uh, you can find the ones from mentor text, but they need to be published in the last five years, and uh, they are profitable. It helps us to um, you know books has been changing all the time, and uh, the trend change, the readers' um, preference and their taste change over time as well. So if it's published 10 years ago, it might not reflect the market, the readers, um, our audience preference in current day. So we want the uh, com titles published in the last five years and also profitable. If 
if the book uh, uh, just uh, went out of print uh, right after it's published, it do your no do your no good. So we want uh, it profitable. You can check on the Amazon ranking to get a sense of how many copies they they are sold every month. So um, that's kind of like um, free and a uh, great way to check about book sales uh, as the author. Yeah. So where to find comp titles um, and the mentor text. So these are keywords and start with Google and uh, you can find like um, the, the good rate, you can find some uh, lists from like good rate list, uh, blog list, uh, Pinterest and review site. And I want to mention uh, a list. Let me uh, change the share screen of, um, let me change the share screen of um, to my, uh, to my, let me share my prompt. So, um, so can you, he can you see the, the good read list? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So yeah, here is some example of, um, a picture about a picture books about grandparents. So yeah, on Goodreads, your list about all kinds of uh, things or topics. So for grandparents books, there were like um, around 300 books. Uh, sometimes there were multiple lists. So you can kind of like, it, it's, a, it's a very com a complete list. So you can go through every single of them. At least so you can uh, have, uh, uh, have an idea of what's the book about. Um, and also there is a review site called um, otherwest.plus. So it's a great place to check books and uh, download uh, review copies. So for example, here you click review copies and uh, you select the, the category. So there are all kinds of category for picture books. You just uh, choose the juvenile fiction and um, you can see there were some review copies you can download. Some, some are published several years ago, but you can find the ones that's published the August 2020. So it's not officially published yet, but uh, you can download the book and have a look. So it's really helpful to understand what's already in the market and what's going to be published in the next few years, uh, next few months. It's going to be very helpful to understand the market. So let me um, switch back to um, let me switch back to the 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 PDF. So when you read the book, yeah, um, definitely check um, library on Amazon uh, bookstore to purchase a book to support your write, uh, fellow writers. And also thank you to read aloud. It's a great place to, oh, sorry, uh, I clicked the wrong thing. Um, uh, thank you to read aloud video is a um, great way to um, to check the book uh, efficiently and effectively. Uh, and I've seen that a lot of um, uh, publishers are using that as a um, marketing tool since um, parents and uh, you know teachers, they're super busy. And uh, for picture books, they won't use that video to pretend they are reading book to children. So usually they use the video to have a judgment, have a sense of what is the book about. Since for picture books, they are spending $20 for a book they can finish in five minutes. And it's pretty risky. And that, um, you know, re read aloud video allow um, adult gatekeepers to get a sense of the book before before they spend the money and guess what if they don't like the book they are going to return the book that's going to cause you know publishers more trouble so i think that's one reason more and more publishers are using that as a marketing tool to help um you know readers um know the book and uh before uh, make the purchase and also uh, make sure to ask your creative partners and fellow writer writers sometimes they know books that not on the you know the above list, but it makes perfect for uh, mentor text and the comp title. So be sure to ask, ask them. And uh, for um, revisions, um, and there were three levels of re revisions. And uh, sometimes I've, I've seen writers uh, jump right into the line 
level. And I don't think you should work on line level unless you have fixed uh, story level and plot level. Otherwise, it's going to be kind of like a waste of time because sometimes you fix a line, but maybe you're going to, you don't need that line at all. Um, so, uh, make sure to start with the story level the what's the heart and theme of your story as they the character and setting can reflect the theme of the story the best and uh can you does does you all, do you really want your character to be a human kid or does it work better as an animal or just to change the setting and play around the setting to see what's the best uh, uh combination to to reflect the theme and the heart of story. And for the plot level, think about the beginning, the middle and the end, and uh, what's the story arc of a story? Is it a choir book? It's a linear um, story arc, or it has uh, like a, um, several tenths and fails and then climax and the satisfying ending. So, and also think about the transition of scenes. Are they make, do, uh, do they make sense logically? And then when you fix, uh, you know, issues from the story level and plot level, you can work on the line level, work on the uh, word choice, um, dialogue and punch lines. And uh, there is a kind of like very general ch uh, checklist like you do have a, a clear uh, theme, do you have an um, intriguing beginning, do you have interesting characters and dialogues and gestures reflect the personalities of your uh, character, and do you have a clear problem and the main character solving the problem. Sometimes I see the um, so a, a, a adult character step in to solve the problem, and uh, you don't want that in a picture book since uh, children kind of like the powerless, um, you know, character in real life and they want to feel that agency that being powerful in picture book they want they want to be the one that solve the problem make sure that it's a kid solve the problem uh, in a picture book and do have a satisfying ending sometimes uh, some book dealing with like heavy topics like um, death or grief like some dark moments but even about these topics you as a picture book you need to have a satisfying and a hopeful ending we already live in a pretty crazy world and you want kids to feel um, hopeful and feel powerful in a picture book. That's something we can do to help our kids um, tackle those challenges in, uh, in their life. And we want, as a picture book, we do want the ending to be uh, satisfying, satisfying and also hopeful. But if sometimes it's a black humor book, it might have a very shock ending, but since it's black humor, it has humor there. So uh, that might the acceptance of the situation and also um, some punchlines you want your readers to be able to kind of like recite some of your lines it's definitely helpful to build the momentum for your uh, book and uh, it takes time to revise sometimes it takes weeks and months and even years and uh, I will say don't rush uh, picture books is made to last forever, literally, literally forever. So you don't want to rush and um, to publish one book and then, you know, as a writer, your skill, um, your skill level uh, improves. You, 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 um, you grow. You also grow as a writer. And uh, when you look back at the books that you published in a rush, you kind of like embarrassed by it, and you don't want to, you know, promote it. And then it, uh, you know, it's kind of like a, a waste of time. So definitely try your best to make uh, a book uh, as best as possible. And sometimes it takes uh, months and years. It's okay. It's just um. Um, you can, if you don't know how to revise it or you just uh, shop it for a while, I work on another story. And since you will grow and you will learn in this process, and maybe um, when you uh, work on some other story, you got a uh, new uh, inspiration and you can apply to your uh, shop the story and then it, you turn into a great book. So work on several stories at the same time. If you don't know how to revise it, simply put it down for a while and uh, you can come back to it later. But just, um, yeah, it takes time to revise. So are you ready for the acquisition process? Um, we are, so uh, our, our acquisition process is that all the submissions will go to me first and uh, I will select the ones that fit the U.S. market and uh, 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 of course with good quality and I will pass those to our editors in China and they will select ones that fit the China market and uh, then they, they, will, um, uh, they will send those uh, 
those manuscripts back to me. And uh, we have um, uh, three, edit three American editors we work with here. Uh, they are all in New York. Uh, so they are all from uh, large houses like uh, um, uh, Scholastic and uh, HarperCollins and uh, Sterling. So they have experience editing and uh, 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 acquiring books you know, um, with uh, uh, bestsellers. So they have experience uh, editing uh, bestsellers and uh, award winners. So uh, we will, so our American editors and I will choose the one that with the best uh, market potential and uh, um, and also fit our list the most. Uh, and then it will go into the acquisition process. So we will make a profit loss statement for each uh, um, for each uh, book. Uh, since we not only we will pay the advance and uh, also royalties, we for each each book will make some pro, uh, derivative products, uh, for example, like uh, activity books, like coloring books, um, and also uh, we might develop like a plush toys and uh, um, stuffed animals or like notebooks and uh, some uh, children's clothing. Um, like uh, t-shirts or you know baby clothing, uh, it all depends on what kind of story it is and what kind of product fit that story most. So we will have a very com a very complete uh, analysis of the market and uh, um, you know to develop a whole package for each book, uh, and then we will enter uh, acquisition and uh, negotiation. So after. Um, after the book contract is signed, uh, our American editor will do the editing. Uh, they will work, one of the editor will work with the author directly, and I will uh, wait in my opinion as well. Um, so um, yeah, so the process, uh, the, we will talk about the timeline here. So usually the market research acquisition, it will take about one to three months. And uh, the editorial development, usually it depends on how, uh, what's, the, what's the shape of the story. Usually uh, the, bo the books we acquire already in pretty good shape. So it might take around one to three months. Um, and also the illustration, it's gonna take six months to one year. Sometimes it depends on the illustrator's uh, schedule, but usually we will keep it within one year. Six months is pretty typical. And then proofread and then galley and send to uh, editorial review and pre-order starts and uh, marketing and sales all starts. It's uh, all these uh, steps takes about uh, six, uh, four to six months. Uh, a lot of editorial reviews, they require at least four months before uh, publication date. So four months is kind of like a minimal. And we definitely want to you know, have a little bit room for um, change or stuff. So four to six months, kind of like a typical. And the printing, shipping, warehousing, uh, it's gonna take around two months. And then finally, book launch. Uh, we have our own printing facility, so we will provide um, authors free printing uh, for the, the marketing materials for book launch, like uh, book uh, mark book markers, uh, poster cards, and if the artwork is uh, truly beautiful, like fine arts, we might bring some uh, uh, art print or posters as well. So it depends on how the book is done, what kind of content it's. And um, that's our uh, manuscript wish list. So um, uh, we publish, we focus on picture books, but we will also uh, select some uh, board books as well. Um, we we try to find the common ground between the U.S. market and the China market. So that's the list that kind of we come up with. Uh, it's about emotions such as uh, tantrum, grief, self control, empathy. Um, uh, acceptance and critical thinking, such as analytical thinking, open-mindedness, differences, some hands-on experience, such as uh, invention, problem solving, cooperation, uh, persistence, and uh, STEAM topics. And also about disasters, like being scared, anxiety, and coping. 
and uh, we um, we we want to also develop a series of stories uh, of um, a series of uh, character driven stories. So um, with potential to develop sequels or even adapt to animations or you know um, so for have the potential to develop a series. So if you have character driven stories, um, be sure to you know think of us and uh, um, that's uh, a, that's something we will focus on. And also, if you're an illustrator, um, you if you don't have um, a story yet, but uh, you have some, um, you know, good, uh, you are good at character design, or you have some character that uh, it's pretty unique, you can send us to us. Uh, you can send us as well. And uh, we also want to develop a series of narrative and uh, creative nonfiction about nature, uh, biology, science technology climate change so as you can see that's um, at least that we try to find the common ground between two cultures and two markets and uh, you uh, before we had um, uh, ha we have a list of like uh, we want to publish a uh, Chinese culture and that's actually something we really want to but uh, we actually from all the submission coming in about Chinese culture we found it's really difficult to find a common ground between the two cultures um, excuse me, because uh, for Chinese, uh, for stories about Chinese culture that uh, appealing to readers here tend to be too simple for readers in China. And, uh, and uh, for uh, Chinese, for stories about Chinese culture that are popular or, uh, you know, appealing to readers in China, kind of like too difficult for readers here in the US. They don't have that, you know, background to understand those, um, you know, those things, uh, those, the, 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 the story backgrounds is kind of like too, you know, unrelevant or too complicated. Sometimes I feel it's, it's actually more difficult, but, uh, you know, as um, we definitely want to you know, publish some uh, stories about Chinese culture, just, uh, um, we have at least it there since every time I reject a story with Chinese culture, I feel so bad and uh, uh, I, I don't want to feel bad when I, you know, so that's why I removed it from my list. But if you have those story and you believe that might be post uh, markets, feel free to send to us. Um, and uh, and okay, that's the Q and A. So I will go through this uh, list first, and um, and then when we have, uh, I will go through the uh, questions on our chat later. So, what's your vision as a publisher? Um, it's uh, we really want to be an international um, uh, international publisher, and we want to publish books that are truly enjoyed by readers all around the world. Um, we start from the U.S. market and China market, and uh, we are trying to find the common ground. And uh, uh, for these books, I believe it definitely have a better chance in, uh, to enter other countries and uh, be enjoyed by readers from another country, from another culture. So that's what we are uh, working on and uh, try to achieve in the near future. And um, another question is how are how are you planning to compete as a new publisher in the uh, uh, saturate, uh, satur uh, saturated market? And what kind of strategies are you going to employ to do things differently and stand out? So um, compared to some uh, large publishers that uh, they are able to publish books in other countries, but uh, their strategy is. Uh, they publish a lot of books here, and if the books here are kind of like get popular or get successful, then they uh, they will explore these books to another culture, uh, to another country. But for us, we will consider you know both markets and during the acquisition process. So you, your book have kind of like a much more uh, higher chance to you know get published in. Uh, not only in China, but also in other countries, especially East Asian countries. Uh, so that's something uh, not, I, I don't know any other publisher doing this since um, it's, uh, you know, um, different, different countries and different cultures really, the readers have a quite different uh, preference and their tastes are different. It's, um, 
it's not that easy to find a common ground and uh, you need to do market research in both market to learn to know the market so it's different to publish in another language uh, and uh, uh, publish in an to be successful in that uh, market. It's, uh, it's actually, today it's so easy to you know, do self-publishing. Anyone can publish books here uh, and you simply find someone, you know, translate your book into another language and you can publish it in another language. But it doesn't mean you are gonna get successful in that, your target audience in that language. Uh, and uh, we have a team in China, they are pretty, um, uh, they're really experienced uh, editors and they have been in publishing for years and uh, they have the marketing resources there. Um, they, uh, the, our uh, uh, the publishing partners has, uh, is one of the largest uh, uh, publishing house in China. They, marketing, they have marketing resources to um, educational um, uh, institutes, to schools and uh, to have media coverage. So they kind of like, uh, um, can have a much better chance for a book to be successful in another market. And for, for us here, um, I've been working, uh, you know, like uh, uh, have around 10 years of um, doing children's books and uh, I've uh, tried many uh, marketing uh, methods here and we definitely gonna do, uh, uh, have developed a marketing plan for all, all of our titles and uh, um, try everything we can to make your books and out. Uh, from other books, um, like we will bring our book to trade shows and to conferences and to um, uh, like uh, some uh, like toy shows uh, and uh, go to those uh, book fairs. And we will also um, help our uh, authors develop uh, uh, school visit materials. We will help our authors to contact schools and libraries. And uh, uh, like we will develop uh, activity book and uh, or uh, a coloring book. So we have, um, you know, Kind of this activity books and uh, um, educational resources to you know back this story, back this book up. Not just the one book, but it's a whole package. So teachers can use our materials, and uh, parents can use our material, and uh, kids will you know not just read the book, but have some other stuff to do with the book. So it's a whole package. And uh, for us, since we are new and small, and uh, we have we focus on every book we will we acquire maybe in the next several years when we have more titles some of the titles might not get that much attention but in this first one or two year definitely each book gonna get a lot of attention and uh we are pretty open if the author have um, any you know questions or they want to do some marketing and uh, they want uh, some help from us definitely we uh, you know we can have that conversation with the author don't be afraid of stepping on our tongues so uh, so um, we are really want to provide any resources we we can to our author to make you know uh, the book successful so uh, will your books be translated to other languages um, uh, for uh, currently, we definitely will translate to simplify Chinese. For other languages like traditional Chinese, we'll work on that. If the if the author signed the world rights with us, um, I believe we can sell a lot of um, you know uh, uh, sell the rights to some sell the foreign rights to other publishers in other countries. Um, but of course, um, that's uh, if that that's uh, uh, something we will negotiate with the agent and author. Um, and uh, another question is, who is your distributor? Um, it's the independent uh, publisher group is uh, distributor we will work on. Since currently we haven't acquired any book yet, so we haven't you know really get into their database. But that's uh, a distributor we will work on. Um, will you ru be running Amazon ads and uh, social media ads? Absolutely. We have a team of uh, Amazon experts. Um, they, they sell all kinds of products, not only books. They sell, um, really have uh, a, a lot of all kinds of products. That's why we, we want to and we can develop uh, derivative products since uh, uh, our Amazon team is going to handle that. Uh, book is just a... Uh, um, 
one another products. So they will be uh, running Amazon ads and doing keywords and the descriptions here. Uh, they, they have like 20 people in the team, so they are already doing pretty well and definitely will do that for our books. And um, uh, do you develop a marketing plan for your titles? Uh, definitely. And um, we will have a marketing plan, a detailed marketing plan for each book for both US market and China market. In China markets, it's gonna be um, a little bit different. Some titles are gonna be able to enter like a kindergartens and uh, or like a first uh, graders. So that's gonna need some marketing resources there. And uh, they will need to uh, make a plan if they fit the educational you know, materials for the school. So that's the, something our uh, team in China will discuss with the author. And uh, um, definitely marketing plan for each book and for both markets. And how many copies do you project to sell per book, per title? So um, that really depends. Of course, we hope that we sell as many as possible. And uh, um, for the, usually the first print run is around 5,000 copies. Um, but uh, it could be uh, at least, at least it could be like 3,000, uh, 5,000 is typical but it could be a little bit more if uh, it's uh, like uh, the holiday season or we want to, you know, uh, have, uh, uh, and we will make that evaluation during the, re the pre-sale and the review, the four to six months uh, review process since we are gonna get in contact with our distributors and sales and uh, they will uh, tell us, like have a projection of how many copies we need. So if they want, uh, it's kind of like it's better to have more copies we will do that um so how do you assist authors that you sign up to learn more sell more and get more or uh, get better in their craft and marketing skills so we definitely will share um some resources like uh some helpful webinars with our authors and uh, uh like um help them to do better school visits and uh, to uh we will also uh try to uh contact uh media coverage both locally and nationally and both us and China and uh, we will you know um, do uh, since there are two two languages uh, something unique for authors to have and uh, it's uh, um, it's gonna be more um, it's more attractive to uh, foreign rights buyers so we will present our books to um, some foreign rights agencies so uh, it's gonna be easier for their books to sell to other countries and also we will um, uh, hold some uh, like uh, school visits and uh, um, library activities so those um, authors will be involved in, you know, have this direct contact with uh, target audience and uh, the gatekeepers. So we are not just uh, like publish a book and sell books. We want to build a community that authors and uh, um, artists and uh, uh, the uh, adults, like um, parents, teachers, and the children, they're all together. They can get what they really like and authors write story they want to tell and also those stories are liked and enjoyed by our um by kids and by parents and they are, can also have educational materials and they can have some fun activities to explore so we hope to build a community that everyone involved will be you know happy and learn something and uh, grow together so that's kind of like our goal um okay let me um let me go through um go through the the list of questions so if uh let me see if i haven't answered some of them uh, so um, um oh, so uh, okay, about rhyming book. Yeah, uh, and let me read the story first. Um, it's from uh, Henry uh, Given, whose desire to produce books in both English and Chinese should authors avoid wordplay and rhyme in their manuscript. Yes, uh, it's really difficult, or it's uh, kind of like challenging to translate into um, you know another language for rhyming books, and uh, especially like wordplay, it's uh, it's gonna lose some of the original meaning in the translation. 
like um, sometimes the, the, the name have some spe uh, special meaning, in, especially in rhyming, but uh, when you translate, uh, it doesn't have that meaning in, you know, in Chinese, I mean, the, the, the name of the character. So sometimes uh, those words play, uh, it's hard to translate. So uh, we, are, we are not like closed doors to rhyming story, but we are very, very picky on that. Um, so what stores are books sold here at the, uh, in the U.S.? So it depends on the, um, our distributors and, uh, uh we will, um, that's a conversation we are going to have, uh, with them. And so definitely, I think you're carrying books in, uh, those like Barnes Noble and some independent bookstores, uh, and, uh, uh, but for, for now, we can't tell yet. That's definitely a conversation we're gonna have with them. So um, another question from Henry. In the US market, we're often told that fiction picture books are around 500, but nonfiction picture books can be a thousand words. Is Yuku applying 500 words limit to nonfiction picture books as well? Uh, now for nonfiction can be much longer. So since, um, you know, different genres, for usually for nonfiction, to, uh, uh, the age groups is uh, like five to eight years old, they can read independently by themselves. And sometimes teachers use that as, um, you know, uh, education material. So it's longer, it's totally fine. Um, yeah. Uh, will all manuscript acquired in English will be published in English and Chinese? Yes, all all manuscript acquired now will be published in both language. Um, maybe in the future when we have more books, we might think to publish in one market first, and uh, uh, and after that successful in one market, we publish in another market. But for now, definitely both. Yeah, we publish in both language, in both markets, since that's one you know, unique advantage we can provide to our author. Not many publishers will be able to do it. Um, does Yihu submit their um, books to awards and the review journals? Do you market to libraries, both mar uh, public and uh, schools? How do you feel about STEAM incorporated into fiction picture books? Um, it's from Rosie. Uh, so yeah, definitely we will send our books to awards and to editorial reviews. Um, we have a list of, uh, we will send to all the like, like publishers weekly. Uh, the, they have the, like the four months uh, minimal, you know, you, you need to submit the book at least four months ahead of uh, publication. So uh, yeah, we definitely will submit to um, those editorial reviews and uh, some awards. We have a list of a bunch of words and we will evaluate books, uh, which words um, it fits most. So uh, I think at, at least uh, several reward, uh, several, several awards. And uh, we will market to libraries and, and uh, schools. We will make marketing materials and uh, to, you know, help the book stand out in, you know, such crowded market. And um, do you feel, um, what's the, timeline uh, for publishing. It's from uh, Xiao. Uh, what's the timeline for publishing the book you acquire over these next few months? Are you planning for the uh, first books to be released in 2021 or are you aiming for uh, uh, 2022. So um, we are aiming. Uh, so we uh, we are gonna acquire our first book very soon this month. And uh, uh, for uh, we uh, for China market, uh, we probably gonna publish some book uh, first in China market, and then after several months publish in U.S. market because in China they don't require they don't need the two months for shipping and uh, uh, all the books are printed in China. So, um, and, and they don't need the six or uh, the four or six months of pre-order. They just need one month pre-order. So some books will be able to publish in 2020, this fall. And uh, of course that book is a, uh, 
double queer uh, ready to acquire is a uh, dummy and it's it's uh, it's by an uh, author and the uh, illustrator it's uh, pretty well done and uh, we will publish that in uh, spring uh, in uh, spring 2021 here so that book might be published uh, later this year in China first and then next spring in the US. And for other books, it depends on how the book is done. If it's a manuscript, we need to find an illustrator and we need to see the schedule of the illustrator. If the illustrator say it takes at least six months to finish an illustration, then probably we will publish a book here in, a ne in the end of, by the end of the next year. And we also need to consider like uh, if it's a seasonal book and if we can't catch the, the you know, that season and uh, we might need to consider the timeline. So there are a lot of things to take into consideration in publication, um, but earliest uh, will be uh, like uh, next spring uh, to publish it here. Uh, do you publish easy readers? For now, we don't publish easy readers. Maybe in the future we will develop, like if we have um, character-driven story that are uh, that we can develop a sequels and uh, um, you know a series of books around this character, we might develop easy readers for it. Or now, for now, we don't publish. Um, and. Uh, are you interest? Are your uh, are your readers interested in uh, learning about American culture? Uh, yes, but the um, yes, we we, we uh, our readers are interested in learning about American culture. But uh, it's kind of like one of the many cultures in the world, so um, it doesn't really you know the most unique thing we can bring to our reader. But definitely uh, about culture is something interesting to you know consider as uh, you know publishers books and the and uh, our readers want to learn about uh, cultures around the world. And uh, will the books are be listed on uh, at the website? Yes, we will submit to that and uh, some other review sites as well. And uh, is you who interested in translating books into Spanish? Uh, that's not what we are specialized in. Uh, currently, we don't have um, Spanish translators working our team, so we might consider that in the near future. Uh, but for now, uh, we 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 won't translate into uh, Spanish yet. Since um, we want, you know, for translators, we work in China. They are not just, we are all, you know, me and our editors in China, we are all native speakers of Chinese, but some stories, we still hire professional translator to do the translation. Since um, they're more, you know, more familiar with the readership, the, the vocabulary you should use for that age group. And uh, sometimes we hire famous translator to do, do the translation. It's kind of like part of the market team effort. So it's not just uh, find anyone who could speak that language to the translation. We have a very high standard and the requirement for our translator. And we need to make sure that we work someone that um, truly know the market to know, you know, what the reader in that language need. Um, yeah. So what is your turnaround time with submissions? Usually within three months, if we're interested. Uh, currently, we already have around um, 100 submissions, so I'm trying my best to reply, but it's going to be a little slow. So, um, yeah, usually it's three months, but you, if you haven't heard from us, um, you, uh, maybe it's not, um, it doesn't fit as our list at this moment, but you are welcome to submit a revision if you have a um, you know, huge revision. Um, but don't submit a revision if it's just uh, some simple change. Um, and if uh, uh, I feel, uh, see some, some submissions that um, this submission might not fit our list, but we like the uh, author's writing style, we will reach out to the author and submit uh, other stories. So um, yeah. What are your submission guidelines? You can find our on our website. And so another question from Susan: uh, You uh, so you won't necessarily acknowledge our submissions only once you want to pursue. We want to uh, we want to reply to all, but uh, um, it, we are kind of like a little bit. Um, 
you, as you know, we have above a uh, hundred submissions now. So in our submission guideline, we mentioned that we we will reply to the submission if we are interested in. So uh, if you if you haven't heard us from three months, you might think it's a uh, pass, but uh, you are welcome to submit a uh, new manuscript. Um, so when you said 5,000 copies is a typical first round, is that 5,000 in US and 5,000 in China? Yes, it's 5,000 in US and 5,000 in China. Um, yeah, so, okay, I think that's uh, all for today. Uh, anyone, if you have more questions, um, feel free to um, uh, submit to the, send a question to seminars at yahoo.com. Um, and thank you so much. And uh, yeah, uh, and be sh uh, make sure to check our uh, submission guidelines. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And I think many of you are my Facebook friends. Um, I hope to uh, have another webinar in the near future. And if you want to learn some more specific things, uh, feel free to let me know. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you all have a great weekend. Bye.